Hello, history enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the past to uncover the marvels of ancient technology. We'll explore five incredible inventions and techniques from ancient civilizations that have been explained, recreated, or rediscovered through the lens of modern science. So let's embark on this fascinating journey to understand how our ancestors' ingenuity continues to amaze and inspire us today. In 1901, sponge divers off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera stumbled upon a shipwreck dating back to the second century BC. Among the treasures they recovered was a strange, corroded lump of bronze. Little did they know this unassuming object would turn out to be one of the most astonishing scientific discoveries of all time. This, my friends, is the Antikythera mechanism. At first glance, it looks like a jumble of gears and dials, but scientists soon realized that it was an astronomical calculator of incredible complexity. Imagine a device, built over 2,000 years ago, that could predict the movements of the sun, moon, and planets, track the phases of the moon, and even calculate the dates of eclipses. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? Using modern imaging techniques, researchers have been able to piece together the intricate inner workings of this ancient marvel. They've created 3D models and even working replicas that demonstrate its astonishing capabilities. The Antikythera mechanism is a testament to the advanced astronomical knowledge and technological prowess of the ancient Greeks. Think about it. Centuries before the invention of the telescope, the Greeks had already created a device that could map the heavens with remarkable accuracy. This wasn't just a clock, it was a window into the cosmos, a miniature universe encapsulated in bronze. The Antikythera mechanism raises so many questions. Who built it? And how did they acquire such advanced knowledge? What happened to this technology? Was it a one-off, a singular stroke of genius lost to time? Or were there other such devices that have yet to be discovered? It's a reminder that our understanding of the past is constantly evolving. As we unearth more artifacts and develop new technologies to analyze them, we're forced to reevaluate our assumptions about the capabilities of ancient civilizations. The Antikythera mechanism is a shining example of how the past can surprise us, challenge our perceptions, and inspire us to push the boundaries of our own ingenuity. When we think of ancient Rome, we often picture grand monuments like the Colosseum and the Pantheon. These structures have stood the test of time, enduring centuries of weathering and even earthquakes. But have you ever wondered what secret ingredient gave Roman concrete its legendary durability? Turns out the Romans were masters of material science. Their concrete wasn't just a haphazard mixture of sand and gravel. It was a carefully engineered composite that incorporated volcanic ash, lime, and even seawater. This unique blend resulted in a concrete that was not only strong, but also remarkably resistant to chemical attack and cracking. Modern concrete, despite all our technological advancements, often pales in comparison to its Roman counterpart. It's prone to cracking, requires frequent maintenance, and has a shorter lifespan. Scientists have been studying Roman concrete for decades, trying to unravel its secrets and replicate its properties. One key difference lies in the use of volcanic ash. The Romans discovered that volcanic ash, when mixed with lime and seawater, formed a special type of cement that was exceptionally strong and durable. This cement, known as pozzolanic cement, was the secret ingredient that gave Roman concrete its legendary strength. Furthermore, the Romans employed a unique construction technique. They used layers of different materials, creating a composite structure that was incredibly resilient. They also incorporated large chunks of rock and rubble, which acted as reinforcement and helped distribute stress throughout the structure. The longevity of Roman concrete is a testament to their ingenuity and understanding of materials. It's a reminder that sometimes, the most ancient solutions are the most effective. As we continue to grapple with the challenges of building sustainable and resilient infrastructure, perhaps we can learn a thing or two from the master builders of ancient Rome. In 1936, a curious collection of artifacts was unearthed near Baghdad, Iraq. Among them was a small clay pot, a copper cylinder, and an iron rod. This seemingly innocuous assemblage would come to be known as the Baghdad Battery, sparking decades of debate and speculation. Could this be evidence of an ancient civilization harnessing the power of electricity? The idea seems far-fetched, but the Baghdad battery's components bear a striking resemblance to the basic elements of a modern battery. The clay pot, 
sealed with asphalt, could have served as a container for an acidic solution. The copper cylinder, inserted into the pot, would act as the positive terminal, while the iron rod suspended in the center would function as the negative terminal. Researchers have conducted experiments with replicas of the Baghdad battery, filling them with acidic solutions like vinegar or grape juice. To their surprise, these replicas were able to generate a small electrical current, lending credence to the theory that the Baghdad battery could have been an ancient power source. But what was its purpose? Some theories suggest that it could have been used for electroplating, a process of depositing a thin layer of metal onto another surface. Others proposed that it might have had medicinal applications, as electrical stimulation was known to be used for pain relief in ancient times. The true purpose of the Baghdad battery remains a mystery, but its existence challenges our assumptions about the technological capabilities of ancient civilizations. It suggests that our understanding of the past is incomplete and that we may still have much to learn from the ingenuity of our ancestors. Now, let's journey to the British Museum, where a remarkable artifact awaits us. The Lycurgus Cup, a 4th century Roman glass chalice that seems to defy the laws of physics. This cup possesses a peculiar property. It changes color depending on the direction of the light shining through it. When illuminated from the front, the cup appears jade green but when light passes through it from behind, it transforms into a vibrant, translucent red. This chameleon-like quality puzzled scientists for decades until the advent of nanotechnology provided an explanation. In the 1990s, researchers discovered that the Lycurgus cup's glass contained tiny particles of gold and silver, ground down to a size of just 50 nanometers, that's smaller than the wavelength of visible light. These nanoparticles are dispersed throughout the glass, creating a phenomenon known as dichroism. Dichroism occurs when a material absorbs different wavelengths of light depending on the direction of the light. In the case of the Lycurgus cup, the gold and silver nanoparticles interact with light in a way that causes it to scatter differently, depending on whether it's passing through the glass or reflecting off its surface. This accidental discovery of nanotechnology in a 1600-year-old artifact is a testament to the skill and artistry of Roman glassmakers. They unknowingly harnessed the power of nanoparticles to create a visually stunning and technologically groundbreaking work of art. The Lycurgus Cup is a reminder that ancient civilizations were capable of manipulating materials at a scale we're only beginning to understand. It's a testament to the boundless potential of human ingenuity and a source of inspiration for scientists and engineers working at the forefront of nanotechnology today. Our final stop takes us back to ancient Greece, where a brilliant inventor named Archimedes devised a simple yet ingenious device, the Archimedes screw. This elegant contraption, essentially a giant corkscrew enclosed within a tube, has been used for centuries to move water uphill, defying gravity with remarkable efficiency. The Archimedes screw operates on a simple principle, as the screw is rotated, water is trapped in the spaces between the threads and carried upward along the spiral path. This continuous motion creates a steady flow of water, making it ideal for irrigation, drainage, and even transporting grain. The beauty of the Archimedes screw lies in its simplicity and versatility. It can be constructed from readily available materials, requires minimal maintenance, and can be adapted to a wide range of applications. It's a testament to the power of observation and ingenuity, demonstrating that sometimes the most elegant solutions are the most effective. Centuries after its invention, the Archimedes screw remains a valuable tool in various industries. It's used in wastewater treatment plants, agricultural irrigation systems, and even in some power plants to move large volumes of water. The enduring legacy of the Archimedes screw is a reminder that innovation often stems from a deep understanding of natural principles. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity to find elegant solutions to practical challenges, leaving a lasting impact on the world. And there you have it, five incredible ancient technologies that have been rediscovered and explained by modern science. From the complex gears of the Antikythera mechanism to the nanotechnology of the Lycurgus cup, these inventions reveal the remarkable ingenuity of our ancestors. 
As we continue to explore and understand these ancient marvels, we gain not only technological insights, but also a profound appreciation for the capabilities and creativity of early civilizations. If you enjoyed this journey through ancient innovation, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with fellow history enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating explorations of the past. Let us know in the comments which ancient technology amazed you the most and what other topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.